All right, so now I want to talk about some tips and tricks we can use with the git log command. You've seen that command come up quite a bit, just git log. And the standard command is just going to print to you each commit, the entire SHA key, the author, the date, and the message that was in it. And it's just going to, you're going to have to scroll through all of them. And, you know, a lot of times you guys saw me use git log dash dash one line, which is just going to condense everything. It's very nice. You can just kind of see quickly. But git log has a lot of very nice tools with it that will allow us to kind of search and manipulate our, our git log and what it returns to allow us to kind of get a better picture. So, for example, just kind of off the back here, we can do git log one line and let's say I only want to see the last three commits because it's very possible in your project you are going to be dealing with hundreds of commits you know if you're dealing with an open source project you might very well be dealing with thousands of commits so I want to say just show me the last three commits so just after my command I just do a dash three just going to show me the most recent last three commits maybe I want to do show me the commits since and let's see here, I'm just going to do um, 2013, June, today's the 18th, so I'll say since the 17th. And it's going to say, oh, well, we have one commit that was made on June 18th today, and that was this commit. Everything else was before this commit, so I'm not going to show it to you. Well, now let's say, hmm, well, you know, maybe I want to see those commits. So I say git log dash dash until equals and I'm going to do 2013 dash 06 let's do the ninth so there were no commits I want to say show me all the commits until that day so it's saying no commits were made before that day well maybe if I do the 15th oh there we go so it said oh we have three commits actually were done on June 15th so this is a very nice feature of if you need to go back to a certain day um, that's always nice. You can even do a, um, you know, Git's pretty smart. It can read straight up text. I can say since two dot weeks. Nope, sorry. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Since, and then I do equals two weeks ago. There you go. And now it's going to show me all the commits for the last two weeks. So, you know, that's always a really nice feature. You know, that's kind of pretty much all of them. So I'm going to have to get through that. Um, another thing we can do is git log author equals Joe. So show me all the commits that Joe did. Oh, well, they're pretty much all of them. That's nice. I can search by their email too. I could say show me git log from, you know, I can do two shockies. So I can do the shocky of one commit. Let's just go ahead and do it. I'm going to do a git log um, one line. I can do a git log from, let's do, I'm going to, I want all of these commits. Let's say I know the two commits. I want to see all of these and the messages that were made between them. So I can do 737717F and I just do dot dot and then I do 71F2AB7. So that's going to show me all of the this commit, this commit, this commit, and this commit. These four com whoop, sorry, whoop. these four commits, and so pretty much that dot dot. All it did was say all of them in between these two. So I have these four commits right here. If you want to kind of see, oh, well, what was the story between these two commits? Um, there's a lot of these. I could go on. There's a uh, stat, which shows you more of here's individually what was each added for each one. Um, we could do, as you can see, yeah, once you do these, you can get really long. Uh, let's do git log, um, one line and look at some others. Git log, there's format equals short. Um, that's going to get rid of that whole when it was added. It's going to try to simplify things. Again, we know we both know they're surely long. I think one line is still the best way to go. Um, I'm not going to, you know, show you everything single one. There's tons of them. One one that I like to do uh, the most popular one here, I'll just combine a lot of them. I can do online grab, or one line, sorry, one line graph all decorate. So that's going to show me where my head, my master is. It's going to decorate, which allows for these different colors. 
uh, show all of them and one line. So it's also going to have this nifty little branch tool on the side which can visually show you where the branches are. And we're going to get into branches in our next section here. But this is a very useful kind of combo that you can use to allow yourself to see the big picture. And it's also going to show you what head you're on and what branch you're on. Uh, so hopefully uh, look up online if you're looking kind of for more ways, but know that there are a lot of useful tools in order for you to search and manipulate the git log command.